Quen 2.5 coded at the 32 billion parameter version is incredible and it's making a big splash in the AI space at the moment for very good reason. Not only is it open source, but it's also a smaller model compared to the large flagship model, which is competing and sometimes winning when it comes to coding. This is a model created by Alibaba, the very large Chinese company. They made it specifically to be able to code extremely well, and it does that very, very well. Now, because it's open source, which again is an amazing part of this considering that it's competing against large, large flagship models, it means that technically you can download from download it from the GitHub repo and run it in your local computer. Except the problem is that doing a quick search in terms of the parameters needed to run this in a local uh, system, you need about 64 gigabytes of RAM and at least 20 gigabytes of disk space. I don't know about you, but I don't want to download this humongous large language model on my laptop just to test it out. So in this video, we're going to test it, but we're also going to show you how you can use it for free in third party platforms, which makes this extremely enticing to use over something like Claude. And I'm going to show you a way that you can try this very much like Claude Artifacts, where you can see it, the coding and the preview of the coding on the very same page where you're interacting with this thing. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an online community called the AI Ranking School Community, where we simplify search engine optimization and we help you to maximize SEO. So you're ranked number one with the latest AI tools and automations. If you wanna be a part of a community like that and you're trying to figure out how to use these AI tools for automations to rank your website number one, come check it out. We have a premium community and a free community. So if you wanna get started, without having to commit to something right away, you can check out the free community. I'll leave links to this and everything else I talk about in the video description below. So I decided to test Quen 2.5 right alongside Claude Sonnet 3.5 and GBT 4.0, which are the main flagship models I would compare it to. I wouldn't really compare Quen to something like O1 Preview. I don't think it's fair and it's a different model for a different thing. So it's like comparing oranges to apples and wouldn't really make sense. But with a simple classic tool uh, test, sorry, like how many R's in the word strawberry, Claude Sonnet and GPT-40 both got these incorrect, whilst Quen 2.5 interestingly got this right. It says the word strawberry contains three R's, which is correct, which is really interesting. And whilst this can be a very silly and subjective test, it's interesting nonetheless, because in that one test, Quen, which is open source, and a lot smaller in terms of the parameters that it has is outperforming these two models. So where can you use this for free without having to download it? Well, you can go to when coder artifacts. I'll leave a link to this below. And then essentially it allows you to use Quen for free, much like you do with Claude Artifacts, although that's not free. Let me show you here quickly. And then let me show you how we can use this for search engine optimization to get more traffic. So here I can ask it to do something for us. Let's say code a simple to-do task app, but include a Pomodoro timer in there. So here I've asked it to create a simple to-do task app. Let me fix the spelling here. Uh, let's also add a Pomodoro timer, which is a 25 minute timer, essentially really good to keep yourself uh, productive. Um, and then make the primary color green and make it look modern. I'm gonna send it and I'm gonna see the code come up in a second. And considering the fact that it's open source, it's relatively quick. Now, how can we use these applications for SEO? Yes, we could technically get it to write a content for us, but that's not the main thing this language model was created for. Instead, I recommend you use it to create simple tools like this. This, for example, is a HTML preview tool that's on my website. A very, very simple web app. And you might think it's kind of useless putting this there. There's a lot of tools, but things like this generate me a lot of organic traffic and sometimes even generate me a lot of organic backlinks to my website, both really good components from SEO. This, for example, I built with Claude and this is a HTML preview tool on the left. You place in the HTML code and on the right, you see the preview. Like this, join AI ranking. You can have other things like this. So let's say you sell jewelry. What a good tool would be to have is a ring size calculator. For example, I put the enter, I enter the ring size here in terms of, sorry, my finger size in terms of millimeters uh, and I'll calculate it and it tells me the US size and the UK size. What would this be useful for? Let's say you're selling jewelry and rings. You can place this into your uh, website very easily and generate some organic traffic that way. This is just another strategy instead of constantly worrying about content, content, content. This can be a nice little 
extra strategy that you can do with that. Let's go back to Quen and see how it did with our to-do task app. And perfect, let's try it out. This is why I like this free tool, let me remind you. So this is like Claude that we just saw before, but free using Quen Coder. Let's see if our to-do task works. So write YouTube video about Quen. I'm gonna add the task here, perfect. Uh, and then let's do one more, record the video. I'm going to add the task there. Let's see if the timer works. Go to start. Timer seems to work. Let's go to pause and we're going to reset it. Perfect, that's working. The one other thing I should probably be placing here is the fact that I want to be able to delete the task when I do them. So let's add that in the prompt. So I've got here, can you add a functionality that I tick the tasks that have been completed and then they fade out and delete. I'm going to send it. And it should understand what it's built already as opposed to build the entire thing again. So it looks very much the same, but let's see if it's going to do the functionality that we asked it to. Perfect, now there's a tick here, and if I place that tick, it faded out and deleted. How cool is that? So it understood everything and it did that in a matter of seconds. So we've got an open source tool that we can use for free online on certain platforms. To be honest, I don't know what the limit is for using it here. There must be a limit, I'm assuming. Regardless, if you need to inject a large language model that is really good at coding, then you could probably do so by injecting Quen because it's a lot cheaper and it is an incredible coder. It really, really is giving GPT 4.0 and Claude 3.5 a run for its money. The whole thing here is that if you like the functionality that Claude can provide, but you don't want to pay for another model that does the same thing in terms of coding, you don't need to. You can use tools like this it'll be interesting what they end up doing with this and if this is version 2.5 if they're going to make it into a larger parameter what that means but essentially what they're developing is models that are vastly smarter but not vastly bigger which is really interesting they're getting a lot more efficient and effective at creating and training these models for specific tasks eventually i'm guessing this will be get so good that you can place it into a device nice and easily like new laptops, even phones and stuff like that. So really excited to see what comes out with this. If you want me to do more tests like this, maybe using it for copywriting and see what comes out, let me know. Because you can, in fact, use it for copywriting, obviously. And in this in this instance, in the how many R's of strawberry test, it did better than the other flagship models. So the whole thing here is that if you like a flagship model enough, there's probably a competitor that is open source and a lot more accessible to you out there. I hope you liked this video. Again, if you want to check out a community that'll help you how to use all these tools to excel and rank number one on Google and all the other search engines, check out our online community. But thank you very much for watching. If you like this, make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks.